Good day my peeps, welcome to my channel, Yardman Second Chance channel. I know you guys inform and inspire, what else? Motivate and educate. You have anything else to say? If you've got a story, you can call me and share your story. What kind of story? Like if you've been deported and you've reformed, given pardon and returned to the country you've been deported from. Is that all? If you've been to prison, done your time, you rehabilitate and live in a new life. Nah, answer no more questions, I'm a general. Tell them to go subscribe to your channel right now. Yeah, young man again, one more time. Blessings, my beautiful people, subscribers, and my friends, them. Big up KK. Well, you know, this is the Yardman Second Chance with another banger. Give thanks to Father God for preservation of life. Keep us safe one more time on the earth. And you don't know, the Yardman Second Chance always are informed and inspire and elevate the youth. Them. Well, today we are talking about brutality amongst black people or the police them can brutalize black people are foreign. Especially in the States. I mean, I tell you, the man, them not easy. The least little thing, you know, them want to fly your, 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 your bat over America. Police, them want to fly your bat. The least little thing. That's true, you might be black. See? So, today, I see a thing where this man with them paralyzed, I bring him in the police van. Take him up off of the street, throw him in the police van, and cuff him, and just strap him down. And the man slide out in the van and lick up him head, him neck, in the back door, like the police avoid an accident, and slam on him brake, and the man slide and lick up in the door, broke him neck, paralyze the man. You see it? A 45 million dollar, them have to pay. On that, if he said that too small, I want to drop some comment down below, and tell him if he said that too small, them should have paid all a hundred million. See? Make the man paralyzed. So, I'm going to make one hear this video here. What? Right? I want to hear this video here. Hold on, Just okay. listen up. Randy Cox was at a block party when New Haven police response to a weapons complaint. Officers arrested Cox, who they say is an ex-felon, and was carrying a firearm illegally. As they were transporting him to jail. <laughs> Authorities say Officer Oscar Diaz was speeding and came to a sudden stop to avoid an accident. Yeah, speed As a result, the man, Cox's yeah. head is slammed against the back of the van, which had no seatbelt. I can't hear you. Despite Cox's repeated calls for help, it took the officer almost four minutes to check on him. Can you move it all? Before calling an ambulance to meet him at the police station. When the van arrived, several other officers were waiting and began berating Cox to get out. Move your leg. Sit up. Move over. Sit up. I can't move. You're not even trying. They see? The man hurt, you know. And when they reach the station, they might try to force the man to come out. I be real the man saying to come out. Like they say, come out of the van. Come out of the van. Get up and come out. I tell the man neck broke, you know. Go on, listen up. About three minutes later, they dragged Cox feet first out of the van. What's going on? Okay. Yeah, perfect. You just drank too much. Before officers forcefully hoisted him into a wheelchair. Cox is processed and dragged into a holding cell about 10 minutes after the van arrived at the station. Yeah. Then forcefully draw him out of the van. Put him in a wheelchair, drag him out. Have, have him in a station. And no sister the man neck broke. Of course I deal with the man like the man is an animal. When I tell you, boy, Jano, them people are heartless, brother. Listen how them are deal with the man. He was placed on the floor where an officer shackled his legs. But he couldn't move as he was paralyzed from the chest down. You hear? Them threw him down on the floor, you know. And then I uncuff him and I harass the man and I pull him over like a rag doll, you know. See? And the man it broke, paralyzed from the head to the chest down. From him head to him chest, him paralyzed, can't move. And look how them brutalized the man in that condition there. Difficult to watch. And when you learn more of the details I'm about to unpack, well, see what you think. 
$45 million settlement has been reached for the mistreatment. That's an understatement of Richard Randy Cox. The man paralyzed in the back of that police van following a June 2022 arrest in New Haven, Connecticut. According to police, this marks the nation's largest misconduct settlement in history. I even hate the word misconduct. It's far beyond. Video footage showed Cox begging for help. The officers accusing him of being drunk, not believing that he was injured. Police put him in that wheelchair you saw, brought him to a cell. Accused him of being drunk. Oh, my ambulance. business if you want drunk, brother. New Haven's mayor, Justin Alicker, said in a statement, the New Haven Police Department has instituted a comprehensive set of reforms, updated its policies and procedures on the transfer of people in custody, and required department-wide training on duty to intervene. Officers involved are being held accountable by the police department and in court. Thirty million of the total settlement will be covered by New Haven's insurance. The remainder will be paid by the city, according to the news release. CBS News with the reporting here. Carl Jacobson became chief of police in July 2022. The month following that incident, replacing city chief administrative officer Regina Rush Kittle. She was acting chief until Jacobson was sworn in. During that time, he said, Mr. Cox was mistreated. He should have received medical attention immediately. He continued, we can't defend anything that was released. Uh, can you defend what wasn't released? There's, kind of, there's even more, I'm sure, here. Five officers involved charged with second degree reckless endangerment, cruelty to persons, they were identified as officers Oscar Diaz, Ronald Wesley, Jocelyn Lavender, Luis Rivera, Sergeant Betsy Seguay. Lavender and Rivera were later fired for violating multiple officer yeah, man. rules related to the case. So this is clearly disgusting, what we were afforded the opportunity to see after the fact is disgusting. I'm too disgusted with the mayor's statement, and I don't quite know if I can articulate why, Rivana, but it just was so matter of fact, so callous. I don't want to hear about your insurance. It's the taxpayers who are going to pay, whether it's your insurance or not, okay? Right. We're, we're not dumb enough to buy that part of the statement, and I don't know why it's even in there. I really don't. I don't want to hear about reform and training. And we, it's not about training. It's not about reform. It's about humanity. And when you don't care about the black guy unbelted in the back of the van as you slam on the brakes. Okay. I'm waiting to see some, some dash cam footage, by the way, Ravana, that shows that you were avoiding an accident. Okay. I'm not buying it. And it could be true. But you have trained this journalist, host, capacity today, commentator, not to believe anything you say. That's the this is disgusting. Again. Right. And you're right about the statement, too. It is, there is a thing in there where it feels like he's trying to say, don't worry, it's not all going to be on your, you. It's not all of the people of the city's burden to pay out this settlement. But in reality, that is, it is that, okay? And, and you guys were wrong, and you're still not putting the bill for how you messed up. And you know that's how the settlements are made out it's i don't think it's the right way to do it yeah, it is the way apparently the to get man. these victims the money which i think you know there's a concept i've talked about this before but there's a concept in the law called being made whole that's what a settlement that's what you know damages are supposed to do they're supposed to make the person whole 45 million dollars isn't enough there's no <laughs> there's no amount of money that $45 million dollar can't make the man get back whole. better. The man paralyzed. The traumatizing that he has, the trauma he's experienced for this, the, the trauma his down. family has experienced, the care that he's going to require for the rest of his life, the tools that he's going to need, the, the uh, relearning, you know, <laughs> how to move, relearning, you know, uh, different ways to do skills differently, things that, you know, able-bodied people take for granted every single day. There is no, he'll never walk again. There's no way to make him whole. $45 million won't make him whole. There's not a dollar amount that will, but I'm glad that he's received the settlement. It should. $45 million can't bring back the man to be whole. 
the man paralyzed for the rest of his life. See, that even if you give him a hundred million dollars, that can't bring him back. So then look at money, they are monkey money. To hold them deal with the man. See? The man that chill on the black party and them come about gun business and find a gun for the man. And I care man go lock him up for nothing about junk. And deal with the man away. Be more. And it never should have happened in the first place. And that's that's the statement that these cities should, should be saying. In the first place. This never ever should have happened. It's our fault that it did. Never should have happened. Never right. should happen, and I'm sick of the second degree charge. I'm sick of the reckless endangerment, cruelty to persons. They took him for a pretty gray, one. rough ride. A that's rough ride. what they did. Yeah. I believe that's premeditated. It's known throughout policing, even after Freddie Gray, and that's what they did. And I don't want to hear about two of the officers who were fired for misconduct related. What misconduct would it be? where you pick i have no formal training ivana as an emt but i do know that if i happen upon an accident scene and someone's badly injured and the car is not on fire what do they tell you don't move them okay don't don't you you could paralyze someone this is just really is it <sighs> unless this is called out like you said back to the statement where this police chief says, let me tell you how scummy this is. I want details here so I know that you actually do get it. And you're not standing with them and reading something that your communications person put in front of you. Okay? Because that's what it felt like. Mm -hmm. And the time the officer spent berating him instead of getting him proper medical care, you don't know how much function could have been saved while they were, uh, you know, right. picking him up, throwing him around. Forcing him to sleep on the ground in the cell, I mean, it's way beyond cruelty. I mean, it's just, they don't even sleep. And force the man to sleep on the ground in the cell. With him neck break. Them no must realize and see the man neck broke. And have the man asleep on the floor. Them further make the man in a, in a, in a situation where he may not. I tell you. See him as a human being, and they're so quick to accuse him of lying, and that's really telling about how, you know, police departments view uh, citizens, particularly black people, and uh, that yeah, they're man. supposed to be serving so and protecting. They don't even see them like as, as human animal. beings. That's just something to throw on the floor, and it's mortifying. Like and some that rag statement can didn't just even come on close to the, the evil nature of what we witnessed it's evil uh yeah, i have a family member who was transported to get medical treatment three times a week and they put her on a stretcher with care a two-man team they put her in the back of their transport vehicle and then one of the crew persons drives and the other stays in the back with her make sure i asked one time oh, i didn't realize you stay in the back yeah, we got to make sure that, you know, she stays secure back here and makes it safely to her journey. It's mm -hmm. just what we're trained to do. No belt, handcuffed, and there you go. And everybody's asking, like, you need to change policies and you need to hire human beings. Okay. Exactly. You need them to are hire human beings. The police are human you know? beings. I'm going to the last word. I think that, that that is exactly it. That is a dehumanization of the people that police interact with. It is the, the abuse of power. And, you know, there's no training. There's no training that out. If someone's able to behave that cruelly, that's a part of who they are. And they never should have passed the psyche bell that police departments are supposed to give their new hires to become a police officer in the first place. Happy birthday! Yeah, man, them policemen, eh? Them police, they may I tell you. $45 million settlement, indeed, for a man paralyzed in a police van. Watch. Man, I'm not easy, brother. So, Randy Cox was that, at a block party it. when New Haven police arrived so the police, in response to weapons. Them, they them deal with the man, yes. Saying? 
I experienced something like that, our police mashed my parody of firing and beat me up bad, bad, bad for nothing. Zane. And them two, them know we are going to sue them, they end up drop my charge or them not charge me for. Zane. Me in the jail all three weeks, me is a ring. Can't sleep. Me lay down on one side, me is ring. Me lay down on the next side, me is ring. I went with the sue them, them drop the charge and them bring me in the fact. So my liar fan up just drop back the charge and thing. But true with the new a foreign, I don't know what I go on. Them turn the back in the days and we just come a foreign. See? Yeah, so them police are not good, brother. Once them pick you up on the street and you're black, you know, them feel say he's an animal. Them treat you any and any way. When they put an handcuff by your hand, they must just cuff you, you know. Them squeeze it till the handcuff sink in your skin. When then they release the handcuff off of your hand, you see how you have the mark your hand dentin. Saying I saw them deal with black people, you know. And when they bring you in I cell, them a throw you down and I throw you in I cell like you have some garbage. You see? And the biggest money this them get in the states, biggest sue ever. For, for how police deal with black people. 45 million dollars. And that's not big enough. It should have been a hundred million. The man family get. See? So we just have shown you today how, how them deal with people, black people are foreign. So them now have no love for it. All over now go foreign, even though we own a country. Police then deal with them own. Just like say the man I did, the people man are human. I watch all the tape of the young yard. Police stop the man in them car. I stepped to him and I shot him in my box. For nothing at all. So the police them is just like them just love brutalize people. I feel them think that. But anyway, yard man second chance. I bring you know, this information what go on with them people over the states. The man get 45 million dollars after them paralyze him. See in settlement. Feet, 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 where them deal with him. So, you don't know. Keep on subscribe to my channel, Yardman Second Chance. Right? And big up all my subscribers again. Like and share my videos. Keep on supporting the Yardman Second Chance. Right? And we are out.